welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and I am here with a book review. Um, I'm going to be talking about The Maiden by Kate Foster. Before I get into it, true confession. This is the second time I've done this video because the first time I thought it was fine, ready to go. I went to edit it and realized I just massively spoiled the book and I don't want to do that. And uh, the reason I sort of inadvertently um, spoiled it is because this book is based on um, a real person named Christian Nemo, uh, a woman named Christian Nemo or Christian Nemo. She was a Scottish woman uh, in 17th century Edinburgh. And um, in my mind, I'm like, oh, true story. Everyone already knows. So I kind of went about the um, my review talking about everyone already knew the story, even though I even said that you probably wouldn't have heard about the story. Um, Anyway, uh, Christian Nemo, apparently her story is well known in Scotland, at least according to the author's note in the back of this book. Not well known in the United States. Apparently not well known to Google because every time I Googled her name, I just got some financial advisor in Wisconsin. So different, different Christian Nemo. <laughs> but anyway, that aside, I'm very sorry and I am not going to spoil the book in this take. So, as I said, this book is set in 17th century Scotland, specifically um, 1679 or the time leading up to 1679. And the book opens, uh, Christian Nemo, who is a, uh, she's married and she is of the upper class. She's Lady Christian. Um, she has just been sentenced to death for murdering her uncle by marriage. <laughs> her aunt's husband, <laughs> uncle slash lover. Um, and she is due to be executed by beheading. And because she's a noble woman, they use this, this thing right here. It's kind of like a pre guillotine. This is called the maiden. So when this, this crime was discovered, she was discovered with the dead body along with another woman named Violet Blythe and Violet and Christian have different stories of what happened. Who is telling the truth? Um, <clears throat> who's not telling the truth? Are either of them telling the truth? Are both of them telling the truth? We don't know. So we start getting the story of both women. So Christian Nemo in this story is presented as a young woman who, um, she's the older sister, but she's always been overshadowed by her um, younger sister in beauty. And her younger sister's gotten married. And uh, the two of them like found a sex manual and they keep talking. I thought that was just this very kind of interesting little part was the sex manual. But anyway, um, so Christian kind of feels like she's sort of left behind. Um, she does end up marrying. She meets a cloth merchant who at first just seems wonderful. Um, marriage doesn't end up being what she thinks it is. And she ends up beginning an affair with said uncle by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> the one who ends up dead. Again, the death, not a spoiler, first page. Um, Violet, on the other hand, is from the lower classes. She, Her entire family was killed um, by disease. And she did, unfortunately, the only thing most women in that situation can do is that she turned to sex work. Um, she becomes a prostitute um, in a house. She's not on the street. She, she does have a madam or bod, excuse me. I've watched Harlots. I should know it's called a bod. And um, through this profession is how she also meets the man who died, who, by the way, is uh, Lord James. Let me just call him Lord James instead of Chris, uh, Mar uncle by marriage slash lover. It's Lord James. And so these are the two women who are found with his body. Now, to go into the story more, I really have, I really don't want to spoil this book. So really you just kind of need the setup of this book and what's going on, which is what I gave you. This is, um, if you like historical fiction set in this time period, you're gonna love this book. You will love this book. Um, it is very well written. I loved uh, Kate Foster's writing style. It was evocative, but not overly flowery. She definitely did her research and she brought a uh, 17th century Edinburgh to life, um, which I really appreciated. Um, side note, as far as I know, this book is not, has not been released in the United States. I got my copy um, through Blackwell's 
And if you are a United States, a reader in the United States or in Canada, you can order through Blackwell's. The prices are actually quite reasonable and they include shipping to the United States. So it's very easy to get this book if you want to, if you're not in a place where it has been released. Um, I actually found this book because it was recommended by Janice Hallett who is the author of The Appeal and The Twyford Code and The Mysterious Case of the Alperton Angels. Um, she highly recommended it. So I, I got it on her recommendation. I was just a little surprised because this is nothing like her books. Um, other than the fact that this book takes some twists and turns that I thought was interesting. And I really loved how Kate Foster plays with who's telling the truth? What is truth? What is the lens through which we're telling the story? What does each woman have to gain or lose from the situation? Uh, what are what are the constraints put on them by society? Um, and there are a lot. We learn a lot about how the role that the church plays in governing, which is important, and the way they sort of enforce morals in the society. That p plays a big part in here. The characters I, I thought were pretty well drawn. Um, of course, there are the two women. There are some other characters around. There's Lord James. Um, there are some other characters around them. The bod in this is a very colorful character. Um, no one is black and white. They've all got their ups and their downs and their goods and their bads. So, um, and I thought the story was suspenseful enough. And that's why I, I wanted to be so careful not to spoil it like I did the first time, um, is not spoil it because there was actually a surprising amount, at least for me, of suspense in this book. Now, if you are familiar with who Christian Nemo is, again, I don't even try Googling her because you're not going to find much on her. But apparently if you live in Scotland, you know who she is. You're probably not going to have the same suspense if you know how the story turns out, but I didn't. So I love the fact that I was like, I honestly am not sure what's going to happen in this book. Um, so yeah. Now, what I didn't like about this book, there's really only one thing. It was not enough to ruin the book for me, but it was enough that I made note of it. It did affect how I felt about one character. I believe not. So that I felt about this character, not in a way that Kate Foster would want me to. And that is when we, at the beginning of the book, when we are working up, when first introduced to Christian and to Lord James, the way it's portrayed in the book, Christian seems to not like Lord James. She's a little creeped out by him. He's kind of, eh, you know. Eh. So when she makes the choice, and she does actually make a choice to have an affair with this man, it kind of felt like it came out of left field and I wasn't sure what to do with that. I wasn't, I was like, what is going on here? This woman doesn't like this man. Why, what's going on? And there are other things at play that kind of lead into this decision, but even those didn't seem to reconcile the difference that I originally felt. Um, again, did not ruin the story for me, but it made me less sympathetic for Lady Christian. Um, of the two women, I probably felt more sympathetic for Violet, and I'm not sure if that's what you were supposed to have done. <laughs> but still, I I really enjoyed this book. Um, I could not put it down. It is very firmly in, his, I mean, obviously it's historical fiction, but if you are a historical fiction reader, you're gonna love this. This is what you expect from a historical fiction novel. Great characters, great sense of place, great sense of time. Um, and if you aren't, if you've never read historical fiction, this is a good one to kind of think maybe to start with because it does give you, it does succeed on those levels of sense of place and sense of time while still giving you a strong story. As I was saying, if this is ever released in the United States, um, there are some just kind of random terms for things, nothing that would affect the story, but just some terms for things that publishers would probably change. Now, you take that how you want to take it. There are some people who are like, thank you, I want to know what these things are. And there's other people who don't like it when publishers do that. And if that case, get it from Blackwell's. Um, I liked having that. It added more flavor to the book for me. So um, I ended up giving this book an A. And if you like um, historical fiction and historical fiction about women and are interested in sort of 17th century, not really about England, but about Scotland, because this is very Scottish, highly recommend this book. And again, this is The Maiden by Kate Foster. Thank you very much. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.